Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Christine. If you are new here, and if you are new here, be sure to hit that bigger button down below and subscribe. Guys, 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 we are almost at my hair. We are almost at 400 subscribers. That's crazy. That's so much. That's so many people. That is a lot of people. That is a lot of Jesse Ryan supporters, guys. That is crazy. I also want to point out how the amount of love and support you guys have been giving me lately, and you guys have been not getting upset with me for not posting as much because I'm back in school. And I just, I really want to say I appreciate it because, like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Today was a really bad day, and so was yesterday. Yesterday was, like, one of the off days where you just kind of got on your phone a lot, didn't drink enough water, and you were dizzy and loopy and, like, all just off day. For me, that was how my day was yesterday. And then today, um, I just had a lot of stress with school, and it's still stressing me out right now when I think about it. So, I'm super stressed out with school, and I've been... A mess all day but I need to film um, and it wasn't just because I need to it's because I want to because I miss you guys I miss uploading and I miss filming it's just I'm like I want to film today and then I go to film and either the video doesn't turn out good because I'm rushing because I don't have a lot of time because I have homework to do or something else and it's just and I I apologize to myself because and for you guys because I should be uploading more and also I'm apologizing to myself because I should have had a better schedule set in place. Um, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I think what I'm going to do is just film and edit whenever I need to. Whether it's Tuesday at 12 p.m., it doesn't matter. As long as it's up by Wednesday around 4.15 or 4 p.m. And then Saturdays it's going to be like hopefully around 12. Um, and if it's not on the times that I'm saying, then it'll be on that day, hopefully. Now. If I'm having an off week or something's going on and I didn't upload that day, just know I will probably upload that week. I'm going to try to at least upload once a week. If I cannot upload more than that a week, I would love to upload twice a week. But, you know, with school and being not in middle school anymore, it's a whole different thing. And it's something I need to focus on and study a lot for and try a lot harder on because I tried, a real, I tried really hard in middle school to keep my grades up. I had all A's and high school's different. I, I got to put that work in about 10 times. So... I gotta try really hard and I really appreciate you guys all understanding that and just helping me through it I love you all so much I don't know what I do if I didn't have the support from you guys and the comments you guys have been commenting on my videos have been insane and just so sweet and makes me feel so happy like you guys have been saying you love me and stuff like that is crazy I love you guys so much and I don't think you'll ever understand it but anyways moving along I just need to say that to clear some things up so um, this video, as you know, it will not be uploaded on Wednesday. The schedule should be starting next week. Not this week, because today's Sunday, but not this week, but next week. Guys, look at my nails. I did them myself, but that was just random. This was actually a video recommendation from Sarah. She has recommended videos for me before. I'm not sure I'll be able to find her comment, but if I do, I'll put it on the screen. If I don't, then Sarah, you know it's you. I think your name is Sarah Jane, and you do. I'm she wanted to see a how to do like a um, headshots kind of like tips and stuff like that. So I today have five headshot tips and tricks for you guys today for posing for headshots or just anything for Instagram pictures or if you're having a photo shoot, you know, just depends. I actually love this type of stuff and I know I normally do gymnastics videos. So I do these type of videos, gymnastics style and stuff like that. So gymnastics videos will be coming back soon too. But if you guys, Please, please, please go comment on my other videos, recommendations and stuff, because I really need them. Um, if you guys give me recommendations, that has 50% of everything I have to do done already, because I already have the video idea. I just have to plan it and film. So thank you guys for helping me out with that. Let's go ahead and get started. So sorry for that really long intro. I hate, I hate long intros. I apologize. Tip number one is when you're in a photo, there's a huge difference with this. Now, today's not going to be a screen recording. We're just going to talk. You know, I like talking a lot. So we're just going to do the talking. No, no voice recording today. So a lot of people, they kind of do this or like that or like that or like that. And as you can see, that can make the chin or like just skin or anything look different. I recommend putting your chin up like that 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 according like i'll show you the difference so there's chin up and there's chin down there's a huge significant difference especially in your jawline right here makes your jawline look really sharp even if you don't have one like or at least a good one like it can make it look so sharp and so good so chin up chin 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 up this thing has to do with your eyeballs um you want to have whatever you're trying to do in your poses whether you're trying to be scared um serious flirty whatever you're trying to do 
do it with your eyes and then incorporate your entire facial expression basically this one is this one is facial expressions a lot of it has to do with your eyeballs if you're trying to look sad and you're trying to look mad at the same time like like i'm gonna do mad at my face and then like see the difference like i'm trying to be mad down here but like right here i'm sad so like you need to just have a facial expression and your eyes make such a difference with that so eyes and facial expressions please do that it will really help your photos and if you're just trying to like do a, a smile or laugh you don't really have to do anything with that that's a, an expression in itself you talk about this one this one is shoulders back you see your shoulders right here they're there for a reason mm -hmm. they're amazing shoulders we love shoulders so here's what we're gonna do with shoulders um shoulders back or like movements or like like if you're just trying to do this bring your shoulders up bring them down like just do stuff with your shoulders because it really helps and it can really make a picture and a pose just look so much more like elegant and more have more definition and more style and more character to it in the picture so i really recommend shoulders back that's probably the biggest thing for me honestly shoulders back Thing on your photo shoot where you're doing hairstyles hairlines you know if you got your hair in your face like this it's gonna be a little hard to see you <laughs> um you know if you want to have your hair down of course that's okay but if you're not trying to, if you want your face to be seen try not to do stuff like that or like that or like that you know like unless you are going for that but if you're not going for that hair back or something like this or like that or just like something where it's like not blocking your facial features and the other things about the posing because hair oh it should be such a big part in posing um if you do have long hair short hair even if you don't even have hair you rock the shaved head honestly you go but if you do have long hair like i do uh hair can make a difference in a photo so just think about that this one is the biggest if you're just doing headshots you know do things with your hands poses um and if you want to, this is something I like to do. A lot of times people are really stiff like this. You don't want to be like that or something. If you're trying to do a pose where it's like that or something and you want to be like stiff at first, then let go. So stiff, let go. Um, if you're good at just being elegant right then there, I personally have to be stiff at first and then let go. So like this, let go, let go. Like stuff like that. I Stiff, let go, stiff, let go. So that is a really good tip and a really good trick to making your photos. Just think about that um stiff like go. this is a bonus one which is just what i said don't be stiff um whether you're even if you're not doing headshots just don't be stiff like like there's a such a difference oh my god all these tips make a difference in your photo so guys that was it for today's video i just want to share for the recommendation every single one of these tips guys will improve your photos and it will make them so much better it'll just give more you know definition character etc emotions into your photos so really do that do these in your photos i recommend thank you guys so much for almost 400 subscribers that's insane i love you all so much and thank you for bearing with me through this hard time right now i love you each and every one of you bye